This is one of those like little interludes, you know, like lunch is not quite here yet. And they said, Peter, would you take a few minutes? <laughs> I never know exactly what to do with these. But then Otto says, oh, tell them about China. So, okay, I'm going to say a few things and I'm going to do my best to connect them. So much of what's needed in the world right now is a kind of a relearning or a reawakening to elements of our traditional wisdom teachings. The ancients who wished to illustrate illustrious virtue throughout the world first ordered well their own states. Wishing to order well their states, they first harmonized their families. Wishing to harmonize their families, they first cultivated their persons. Wishing to cultivate their persons, they first rectified their hearts. Wishing to rectify their hearts, they first sought to be sincere in their thoughts. Wishing to be sincere in their thoughts, they first extended to the utmost their awareness. Such extension of awareness lay in the investigation of the underlying matrix of mind and matter. The underlying matrix of mind and matter being investigated, awareness becomes complete. Awareness being complete, thoughts then become sincere. Thoughts being sincere, hearts then become rectified. Hearts being rectified, persons then become cultivated. Persons being cultivated, families then become harmonized. Families being harmonized, states then become rightly governed. States being rightly governed, everything under heaven then comes into balance. This is 2,500 years old. Yeah, I know. <laughs>